Hello guys, come on in. Let me know where you're watching from. My name is Deb with Art and Grace and we're going to have some happy hour painting fun. And I'm getting this pulled up on the iPad so I can see your comments. But if you're here, let me know if you can see and hear me. Okay, I can got it pulled up. So who's here today? You know, I hope that you're having a good week. I hope it's been a good day, but I think we can all use a little pick-me-up toward this time of the day. So hopefully some of you will pop in here with me. Hello, Andrea Hudson. How are you? I'm so glad you're here. And hi, Robin. This is very impromptu, as I'm calling it, because it wasn't, I didn't have it on my schedule or anything, but I always miss you guys when I'm not live. And yesterday, Debbie Rig was live on my page from Studio MDAZ. I'm sure you all saw it, but if you missed it, it was a really amazing uh, pumpkin she did. I'm doing good, Robin. How are you? Hi, Lisa. I love when I can see comments on my phone. It's so rare. Hi, Brookie. How are you today? Yeah, you guys say hi to me. Can you hear okay? Hi, Sandra. I'm doing good. How are you? You guys let me know how you're doing. Um, glad that you're here. So good to see you too, Lynn. Thank y'all for coming in and just spread out that grace for me. Um, just, you know, wherever you can that you're allowed to would be helpful. I always send it to my, my groups. Hello, Tracy. Hi, Anna. Uh, yeah, it was amazing, wasn't it? She, I think I'm going to try it or at least something similar. I have really um, enjoyed, I've watched, you know, her for a couple of years and enjoyed her checking, but I really haven't done it myself because it's her thing and, you know, I've got my thing and all that, but man, that pumpkin, I think I need to do a pumpkin like that. So we'll see. Oh, Barb, I'm so glad you're here. Well, I won't chat long, but I do like to take a minute or two and say hi to everybody who's popping in live. So bear with us while we say hi to our friends and to our new friends. Um, need to send, okay, yes, please do, please do. Absolutely, Sandra. I have in my private group, girl, I don't know, um, I know that uh, not everybody wants to put things public, so message me, but I do like to know, I do a check-in to let y'all tell me how you're doing, so I'm good, Susie, how are you? But yes, Sandra, please me message me getting the live. You couldn't find me probably because it just takes me a minute. Sometimes I'll have to type in, you know, the description and all of that. Hello guys. Thank you for the hearts and the little, you know, all of that. I love, I know y'all are probably encouraging Sandra and hi Carrie. Oh goodness, Carrie, praying for you and your surgery tomorrow. And if you have any prayer needs, list them in, in the comments here. So here's my little sketch. Um, it's not great. Can y'all see this? I had to look at something to kind of get the idea of placement of her hair and everything. But this looks literally like my daughter when she has her hair up. So it was pretty easy to sketch out. And then this, I'll tell you what, where that came from. This is one of those little glass cups, I guess you call it glasses. I don't know. Um, with a little wooden thing. It's so cute and perfect for your fall drinks. Um, so this gave me my inspiration for that because, you know, typically we paint the little Starbucks coffee cups, but I thought let's do something different and do this type of cup. So we're going to do that. Got her cute little glasses on and we're going to do a cute little fall girl who's like dying for her Starbucks or her, you know, her little fall drinks. So, um, you guys let me know, do you drink Starbucks? And if so, give me your top ones because I'm not a big Starbucks you know, just because I don't go purchase them. But if I do go there, I typically get a refresher in the summer and in the winter, the usual um, ch latte, chai, la chai latte, I don't even know. Usually my daughter orders for me. So, hi, Helen, how are you? You bought your canvas yesterday to paint that gnome. Awesome, Helen. You guys always message me if you need help or have a question. Hello, Mary. Hi, Omi. Hi, Shelly Ann. Let's see, did I miss anybody when I was jabbing? Let me go over here and it's easier to pull up on the on the iPad. Hopefully you guys don't have sun. Yeah, it looks like it's okay because I, I put something here so that the sun is not beaten down. Okay, are we ready? Hello, everybody. Thank you, Mary, for sprinkling. And hi, Tony McGee. 
Guys, come back through and say hi if I missed you because I really, really hate to miss. So here's what I'm gonna do. I will just take a Sharpie or a paint marker, whatever I can get my hands on. Okay, we got a paint marker. I am going to kind of go over this girl, what I kind of sketched out here, um, so that you guys can see where we're going with this. I'm just not doing it super dark, but you know, so that you guys can see, that'll be her little, you know, the little hair thing that they wear, the little scrunchy thing and something like that. I like it flowy, so we'll, you know, let me go over her glasses too. And that way you guys can, you know, it'll be easier for you. Now, when, when you want to, if you want to paint this, I will give you a tracer um, and it will be a little bit neater you probably can't see all my erase marks, but I have my little eraser here that was back and forth until I got it kind of the way I wanted it. It was really silly. Probably could have just printed something off the internet easier. But I want this to be my design and not somebody else's, so. Okay. And then here's our little glass. Do you guys have one of these? I, my daughter bought this one on Etsy and it's real cute. She loves it. It's kind of um, just more for fun really, you know, but I do like the lid. Okay, there we go. There's our little design. Y'all can see a little better now where we're gonna go with this. Let's get some paint out. Oh, thank you, Tarita, how are you? No Starbucks? Oh yeah, let me know. So I wanna know if y'all have a favorite drink or do you make one? You know, all that stuff. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, <laughs> Jennifer, I, I don't know. We'll see if it, if it turns out. Wait to be amazed to see if it turns out. Okay, guys, so for the background, I've got all my fall colors out. Let me show you what I've pulled. Um, all of these are my, what I can use, what I'm thinking of using for this. I kind of tend to stick with the same colors for my paintings in the fall. You know, I'll vary a little bit, but overall. So I think I want a pretty muted background. I don't want it to be crazy. Try drawing a tree. Well, listen, it's not easy. I'm not going to, it is not easy. And that's why I literally, like I said, I should show y'all sometime. Maybe I'll just go live and start sketching. Um, I am not, you know, a professional. I'm not, I'm not, what's the word like for, for a, somebody that draws really well? I just do like the rest of you guys, you know, where you look at proportions and you know that her face is kind of an oval. And sometimes, let me show you a little trick real quick. So take something, take your piece of paper. I do this a lot. And um, you know that you want her face to be oval. So you'll take this and you're gonna cut like half of an oval. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna cut this into an oval shape. So this is now kind of like a face shape, right? So you could technically lay that down and trace it. And then you know for her hair, you want a bun. So let me show you how I would do that. Cause this is the kind of stuff I do when I'm having trouble drawing something. I know I want her bun to be, you know, kind of this shape. So I would lay that on top of my oval that I just drew. So let's say that we drew our oval and then we put that little thing on top. So that's kind of, you just kind of, I can show you all my processes sometime and show you how to do it so that you don't always have to go find tracers. But I also am happy to give tracers. Everybody in my VIP group gets tracers for anything. And, um, and right now, since we're celebrating my two year anniversary with the group, we, I'm giving tracers this whole month. So that's a big thing. Um, so if you want one, just, I, I should have had it ready for you, but I, you saw me just kind of get here and do it. So, oh, I, Karen, you're sweet. Thank you for the sweet words. Good evening, Laveda. Fresh squeed lime. So the, I'm having a half tea and a half lemonade. It's still so hot here, but we're dying for fall. Okay. Back to this let's do the background and I think I'm gonna do I'm trying to still think of colors I think I'm gonna do kind of a, a a mix of my pretty wine color this is cranberry wine and we'll do a little bit of this fawn color let's see oh Maria thank you how are you today glad you're here 
I love it when you guys can pop in with me. I know it's it's that hard hour because a lot of you are driving home or fixing to do dinner. Um, there's no perfect time to go live, so I'm glad that some of y'all can pop in here with me. Just grabbing the closest brush I had to me for this background. A flat brush works, but I grabbed an angled brush. So as you can see, it's at an angle and it will work fine. And I'm gonna try to keep that sun from bothering y'all. Holler at me if you can't see and I'll keep moving it. Okay, so I'm dipping into, oh, thank you, Cynthia. I'm dipping into this burgundy. Let me see how dark this is gonna be. I really pictured a dark, kind of that burgundy look back there. So what I'll probably do is put a lot of burgundy, but then come back and lighten it up. Let's just see how that's gonna look. Just kind of takes me a minute to get some color down and see if I'm gonna like it. But I wanted a fall color and I am not scared of color. You can definitely do a muted background if you want, but I really like color. And this is a fun painting. So it's not serious <laughs> by any means. So you can, you can really explore with color when you're doing fun art. Okay, you love it? Good, Judy, I do too. Hi, Carol. Hi, Cynthia. I hope you're having a good day. Let me know. Message me if you need to because I want to know how things are going with Jerry and all that. I'm going to bring in just that little bit of fawn color, which is going to just tone it down and give us some variety. I don't want to turn it pink or anything. That's why I'm not using white. So let me just see what I think about that. So there we go. See that sun's beaming in, but I think I'm going to like it. So we're going to keep going with it. And of course, if you paint this any colors you want, you can do white, black, you know, teal, uh, anything. What would y'all do? Y'all let me know. Do you like to do fun colors with your fun art or are you, you know, it's okay if you're more of a muted neutrals and things like that. I like the textured background. So that just adds fun and kind of some interest to it. I'm just coming in here with that fawn color, which is kind of a khaki, just kind of adding that here and there, which tones it down. I don't want to get any into my little cup here, just going around it. Uh, thank you for saying that, Karen. I don't, hi, Julie. I don't know how, I, I mean, when I always say I don't know how I do it, but it's not, I don't know, it's not that hard. It really isn't. There's no need to do it for you guys, so I don't recommend it, but I just think you have a good view. Like at least when I watch it back, I, I like being able to see it head on like that. So I hope y'all do too. Linda says, cool color. Thank you. Oh, Maria. That's yes. Just try it all. And that's how you learn what you like. You try it and you know, like you might do it the way I do if you're new, but then the next time you do it, you try something different. And eventually that's how you find your style is by, you know, doing it just like they did at first. And then you go off and try something new. Hello, Laura from Michigan. Hi. Oh, Sheila, how are you today? I'm so glad you popped in, girl. I miss you. I, I used to feel like I used to be on your lives more and I miss getting to watch them. Jerry's coming home a week from today. Two months with it. Yes, I know. And good for you getting the home health three days a week. That's fantastic. Hello, Kim. Yesterday's tomorrow's. How are you today? Um, oh, Ashley. Oh, I, I apologize all the time because like, like when I go back, when I go back after the live, I always go back and play my video over and then I can catch all the comments because obviously when I'm painting, I can't catch them all. I don't have anybody to read for me. And so, um, I will go back and just, you know, answer comments as I'm got it running and I have to mute it a lot. A lot of times I mute it way low so I can barely hear it. It just drives me crazy. So I don't know how anybody says they like it. Uh, you know, our voice doesn't sound the same. 
So the way in my head I think I sound is not how I sound in real life, which is scary. But thank you, thank you. That was a lot to say when I should have just said, well, thank you, but I just don't get it. So guys, just tell me how you're doing. I'm sorry that I can't just sit and read comments. I would love to because that's the fun part for us is seeing what all you're saying and chit-chatting with you, finding out about your day. That's the, I love these happy hour times because everybody's kind of had the majority of their day and you can give me kind of, give me a rundown or if you need prayer, you can put it in the comments or if you've had a great day, share it, tell us something good. I love having encouragement for each other in here. So I can go to a smaller brush to get those little pieces I'm trying to get, but you know, I'm just gonna. Oh good, Shelly's working on her scarecrow pumpkin. Guys, that is the cutest little painting if you haven't done it. Let me see if it's behind me. There it is. No, that's not the, where is the scarecrow pumpkin? I don't see it. Do y'all see it? <laughs> where did I put it? I don't see it. That's the little gnome pumpkin, but we do have a scarecrow and I don't see him. So I don't know what I've done with him. He's probably hanging up high. But anyway, we've got a lot of cute fall paintings you guys need to try. Let me think, am I gonna do her face or just do her glasses? Just her, I'm trying to pick, blur my eyes and see what it would look like. I don't know. So what do y'all think? Do I go down here with her face? Yeah, I think I do. It looks really weird from here. Crocheting tops on towels. Ooh, that sounds good, Helen. I told you I want to learn to do that. I want to crochet. He's hanging under the shelf. You saw him? Oh, there he is, barely peeking out. Can y'all see him in between? <laughs> Good eye. You got a good eye. I forgot I did hang him down there. Yeah, I don't have a, a way to, I mean, there's just so many things that I've got going on to display them very well. But you guys, uh, I'll tell you that the honest truth is, is go to YouTube, my YouTube channel, and you will find all the videos just pretty much in order. Um, if you're ever looking for something or wanting to paint something, of course you can send me a message, but if you're, you know, you're just want to browse around um, YouTube, you know, it's just it's so organized and it's just one right after another. And Oh, Susie, <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank you, Tony. South Fort Worth, yes. Y'all tell me where you are. I know, I know a lot of you, but I don't know everybody. And I think it's fun. Um, I think it's fun to see because a lot of times y'all will say, oh my gosh, I used to live in so-and-so or near there or whatever. And I have definitely had uh, one time people knew people. It was like somebody knew very well the brother of somebody. And I was like, wow, that's so cool. My brother lives in Murfreesboro, which is by, ten, uh, by Nashville. And I've had people say, oh my gosh, I live there, you know, so you never know. Okay, I'm gonna come back in here and add some of this khaki color just to kind of give it interest and texture and all that stuff because I like a fun background. And this acrylic paint dries fast, so by the time I get around here to the other side, I'll be ready to do a, a second pass at this. But anyway, you're late. No, you're fine. You're not late. No late. You're only late if the red button is not right there. <laughs> just kidding. But that would just mean the live is over and you can watch the replay. So but I'm very glad you guys are here live with me. Sure is more fun to have somebody to paint with. And a lot of times I will kind of lean up and ask y'all like, what do y'all want for glasses? Do you want, y'all just go ahead and tell me, should she have black glasses? Should she, we don't want red since we've got all this burgundy, but we could do teal, we could do leopard print, we could do silver, brown. She'll probably have brown hair because I kind of made this after my daughter. Oh, John Deaton, oh my goodness. Look at this one, two, three, four business. You are gonna get in trouble again. <laughs> 
Thank you, John, for all those stars. Um, I sure appreciate it. I tell you guys, it makes me happy when Facebook sends us that little check. It's so nice because I've said it before, but I usually have a list going and I'm like, okay, time to order. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I almost always use it for craft supplies and it sure does help. You guys are awesome. Almost bought the same hat at Hobby Lobby, Brooke. I, I don't know, that probably is where I got it. I don't remember. Um, you should have, we'd be little hat sisters. How are you feeling, girl? I think I messaged you to ask. I don't think, unless I just dreamed it. Did I? I think I did message you, didn't I? I try to check on you guys if I know you're sick and I'm, I'm not great at it, but I try. I do pray for y'all and think about you, but the days just go, you know how that is. The days you think you're going to get all this stuff done. I've got a list sitting right over here and usually there's always a few things to add to tomorrow's list that I didn't get to. Tony has a cousin in Katie. Aunt lives in Fullshire. Okay, adding back in this little tan bits. Oh, Tony, you can't tell yet, but thank you. I hope she is. I think it's fun, and we needed a little fun to the day. I love the color. I really like the, it's a great fall color, right? So, I'm not sure about her face, so I'm going to, Kind of bring this around and give her like that oval face. Um, but I'm just, I hadn't thought through that. But we'll see. We'll see. I hope she's cute. Yeah, Karen, thank you. I love this color too. I, uh, I usually will buy the two ounce in Deco Art. And of course, if I really love it, then um, sometimes they don't have it in the larger, but cranberry wine is what this is. It's, it's a really good fall color. We are so ready. I mean, I feel like all we've done all summer is complain about the heat, which I hate. I don't like complaining about it because it just is the same every summer. You know, we know it's hot here, but man, feels like you just can't, you have to acknowledge it. It's so hot. Do you know what I mean? Just kind of going back, touching up, you know, anywhere that I see it wasn't dark enough, I'm kind of hitting with it. I really like the, the paint stroke look that it's got. So I'm not gonna worry about having like a really dark coat of paint on here. I just kind of like this look that we've got. Oh, Brooke, I don't know. Leopard sunglasses, Tony. Oh, okay, good. I'll go read it when we're done here. Karen, I'm going to do a mix. So I'm, I've got out my brown. I've got out some black. So we're going to darken the brown up and use some brown. I have this beautiful cinnamon stick that I really haven't used yet. So I'm going to use some of that in there. We're going to make it really pretty. I'm going to give her some highlights. Okay, so that's good-ish for now, right? I'm looking right where my hand is needs a little bit. I should just take the time. I always feel like I've got to really hurry because they're going to, they don't have all this time. So I should really just take my time and get it done right. I usually will kind of right after my live fix anything that wasn't good enough during the live. But I'm trying, I try to be real uh, respectful of y'all's time because of the time of day it is. And I know there's a lot going on. I like that. Okay, there we go. I know the sun is bright, guys, but I want to hold it over here. You can see okay. All right, another little tip for you. If you're new to painting, take a paper towel and wipe off some of that paint in here before you put it in your paint water, and you will not have as muddy of paint water, which is nice. So it, you can get by a lot longer without changing it. 
dip? What do you use as your little palette paper? Well, right now, okay, so when I print um, labels to do shipping, this is the back of that sticker. So I peel the sticker off, put it on the package. So it's from Rolo, you know, that brand, but um, that's what I'm using right now as my palette. But if you get paint kits from me or art kits or anything like that, I always enclose one or two of these little cards. And it's um, just a slick card that you can put your paint. And I love the circles because it reminds you about that much. You don't need to, you know, put so much on your palette. So that's kind of a good little reminder. So yes, Deb, that's what I use. Andrea, thank you for the stars. Are we having a stars party? Or was that just John? <laughs> oh, good, Pam. I'm glad you do. Can I call you Pam or do you like Pamela? Sorry. I, I give everybody a little nickname, I think. Love Summer. It has been, hasn't it? Okay, guys. So, did we say glasses? I wanted to know what color y'all wanted for glasses. Y'all just type it again. It's too hard to go back and look. I can't. I'll take too much time if I go back trying to read. So, let's do her face. Oh, I can't believe I got out more of this color. I am putting that back, y'all. I just don't like wasting my paint. So, that's going right back in the bottle. I'm going to use what I have on my palette. Because I just totally forgot. So, what I'll do for my faces, um, I will just look at the color. I try to kind of match my skin. You can kind of match your skin. Or you can do... African American or you know really pale just whatever you want to do for yours um scream leopard print John awesome okay I think you're right so this is actually a really good it's called fawn it's just a, a light tan let's see how it looks for her face we'll see it might be a little dark but but we'll try it My daughter is actually super fair, and I'm kind of modeling this after her, so. But we'll, we'll give her a little suntan here. My daughter is so much like my mom in every way, including her skin and everything. And I was probably more like my dad in the, as far as body and skin and everything. Um, I don't think I like the face. I almost think, hold on, hold on. I gotta picture it. <laughs> I don't know that I'm gonna like the face. I almost feel like it needs to stop at the glasses. What do y'all think? Y'all have a little better vantage point than I do. I don't know. Oh, y'all tell me real quick. Okay, so it would just be burgundy down here. Or do we actually do her a face? Because this is one of those kind of faceless girls. Yes, maybe she's on the beach. <laughs> okay, so Mary is with Ocean Breeze and me. Are you saying just do it burgundy? I kind of think so. And I'll show y'all an easy fix. Easy fix. Y'all let me know. I don't look for no, no face. Okay, so let's do the easy fix. So when this tan color dries, we can easily remove it. I am going to take, this is just a paper towel. I'm going to dip it into my paint water and just kind of wipe some of that off because it'll be much easier to cover if it's not dark. So no big deal, guys. It's an easy fix, and I love showing this because we all paint and kind of decide, oh no, I don't like that. So of course I normally wait till it's totally dry and would just go right over it with white paint, but I kind of am rushing the process. And once this white dries, then I will go in and cover it with the burgundy. But see, no big deal, live and learn. So mistakes are just Let's see, mistakes are opportunities for, what's the word? Um, creative solutions, how about that? Oh, Leanne, thank you, that is so sweet. Sweet, sweet, thank you, Sherry, for the stars. Um, 
Yeah. In a wet towel with a mask on. Yeah, that's true. Okay, we'll go over and do the glass. So here's the glass that I am basing it on and it is kind of just a muted, real muted tan. So might as well do that. It's gonna have some shadowy look to it. Hi, Andrea, how are you? You guys, I'm so glad you're here. And I just, I hope everybody's having a good day. I'm kind of, haven't seen many comments on it. I've got white on my brush and that tan, both. Just put both on there and just gonna kind of color this in. Um, I want it to look kind of uh, shadowy, maybe is a right word. So I will probably dry brush some of the tan on here also, but let me just kind of do the base coat here. Because look at our glass, when you look at it, and I'm sorry about the, but see how part of it's shadowy and it's just the way glass is, this type of glass. So you've got almost some gray up in here. So yeah, we'll just have kind of a little, in fact, we'll do a little, get a little bit of gray on our palette. I don't think uh, stars, I mean stars, I don't think Facebook is letting me even have stars parties. No, they did. Never mind. I take that back. They did the other day. It's like, I don't think I've had one in a while, but I did. Okay, so here we're putting some gray into it. And then back to the white and tan. Summer is your favorite. Uh, yeah. Pam, where, frosted. Yes, thank you, Shelly. Um, where do you live that you like summer? Because, man, here in Texas, it's just brutal. So I'll, I'm just kind of letting the brush do its thing. You guys hear me say that a lot, that you're just putting the paint down and not stressing over it. I, obviously some parts are gonna have a little more brown, some will have some gray, and that's what I like. It's gonna give it kind of that frosted textured look. We don't want it to be boring and flat. Columbus, Ohio. So what's the temperature right now or today, you know? Hello, Tisa. How are you feeling, girl? Glad you're here. If you're in my VIP group, say something about VIP group so that everybody knows. We got a lot of y'all on here today. I'm so happy. I didn't even, I, didn't, I think I did pop a post in there right before I went live, but this wasn't on our schedule or anything. It's just kind of a, I missed you guys since I wasn't on live yesterday, so here we are. I don't worry too much. I know Facebook wants us to go live every day, but I just kind of do what works out for my schedule and I don't worry too much. And when, when Facebook is being tacky and won't show me to people, all I do is ask y'all, hey, will y'all sprinkle me out there? And y'all do, and then it, it's, it always winds up being okay. So I try not to stress too much. Okay, so I'm just going back in here and adding some gray where I want more. Let me show y'all that up close and try to get it to where you can see it and not the sun shining. Is that okay? Can y'all see? Let me see. Think y'all can okay yeah so there we go oh carrie thank you and nobody has to say anything <laughs> at all um please don't think i'm asking for that but um i just like to 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 see and i like for y'all to say it and everybody else to see and if you've thought about being in our group, this is a great time, y'all. This is probably the best time to get in because we're doing um, August is, is lots of fall, September, October, November, December. Oh my goodness, you know, it's just my favorite time, I think, for painting. Love fall and Christmas painting. And of course, we do other things. We do crafts and we do 
uh, we definitely have guests come in and you guys are seeing that. I've had all the guests this month just go on my main page because we're celebrating and we're, you know, open up this month to all of you. So if anybody was wanting in, this is, you know, the open time. And once we close, it'll be closed for, for a while. I told the group, I don't want to be open, closed, open, closed, open, closed. I want to keep it closed for a while so I can focus just on them and not, you know, not everything else that's involved. So now listen, we'll come along and we'll clean up that line around the cup in just a minute, but that's all. Okay. Love watching. Oh, thank you, Dolly. And I love your name. Were you named after Dolly Parton or is this a nickname? It's probably a nickname, but thank you, Julie. You guys, I seriously was not asking for that, but um, I appreciate you guys so much. Hi, Deborah from Alabama. Yes, first month in the VIP group. Oh, wow, Tisa. I wonder, because I hadn't seen you. Oh, I'm so sorry, but maybe that will be a, a good thing, right? Maybe that will wind up being a good thing. We're going to do, this is a wood lid that they have on these, and I'll show you how I make it look a little more like wood, but this is the perfect color. I'll show you guys. Look, I mean, it's just a a little tan lid, so. Oh, Cynthia, thank you. Thank you, God. Man, y'all, I, I did not, I shouldn't have said anything because I was not trying to get y'all to say all that, but I sure do appreciate you and and thank you. And man, that group, I wouldn't, I don't know what I would do without them. They're just the best ladies. And we have Justin and we have Kenny, Kenny Ray, Dina's husband. We don't have, you know, I don't open it up to men per se, but but if we know them and we know they're there for the right reasons and not for, you know, after my ladies, <laughs> then that's different. So on this straw, I'm going to do um, a little bit of a grayish color so it'll show up a little. Because, you know, obviously you can't do clear. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a gray here. You really can't tell, but that's that. Thank you, Christy, for sprinkling. Christy's my rock star. She is always there to help. If I need anything, she is there. And I appreciate it so much. Okay, let's go back and paint that burgundy in case somebody pops on and is like, oh, this lady doesn't know what she's doing. So let's get the burgundy down here. Cranberry wine is what this one's called. It's gonna take a couple of coats to catch up with the rest of it. Once your acrylic paint dries, it dries just a little bit darker than when you're putting it on. So as you can see, you know, it looks this way, but it's gonna dry a little bit darker once it's done. Nah. <laughs> I get by with a little help from my friends. What famous person said that? I am not in, I've only been in a few memberships myself, probably four, I would say, maybe five. I haven't had one like what we have. Um, and maybe it's just that it's perfect for me, you know, but the ladies are so nice and supportive. And if anybody needs anything, they're, they're there. And I don't know, I just really, 
I love our group. If anybody is interested, ask me, let me know. Just put it in the comments and I'll explain what we do there. John D, no, you're, I'm gonna tell Facebook no more. You're at your limit. Thank you though, thank you so much, but good grief. Hi, Luann, how are you? Yes, Tarita, I think the Beatles. Um, yes, Tracy, I know, I'll make y'all buy other ones because because I will show you. Oh my gosh, this is such a pretty color. And I have not done my sides, but I will go back and do them. I probably will do something fun. I don't know, let's, we'll see. Um, most definitely to what? Who said that? Tony, what'd you mean most definitely? Okay. Yeah, I like this better, okay? This is a look and I've seen it on t-shirts and things, so yes. Hi, Dina. How are you? How'd your, how are your kids doing in school? You guys let me know if your kids have gone back. I can't believe so many have. Seems so early. Okay, let's do some hair. I'm gonna grab a round brush, and I always say that if you're gonna do something straight and flat, you can just grab a flat brush or an angled brush. But for anything that's got curves, a round brush will be your friend. Um, also, a filbert brush works, which is the curve. Let me see if I've got one handy. This would be a filbert. So see how the bristles are kind of curved at the end, the fibers. Green Sun goes back the 29th. Linda said. Oh, John. <laughs> I don't think she, no, she's not in there. Um, Older granddaughter starts next week on Monday. What grade, Sandra, or is she in college? I don't remember if you've told me. Um, okay, so hair. We're going to do some brown, and I'll show y'all how I kind of mix it. So let me move my palette down here where you can see it. Y'all just holler at me if you can't see something I'm doing. Um, and then I've got black right here. I'm going to use some of that. We're gonna put out this beautiful color here that I have not used yet. It's cinnamon stick. This will be my first time to use it, so I'm excited. Yes, Tony, we do. I know, Christy, I feel like it, oh, middle school, I feel like it just got out. I don't, I feel so sorry for teachers. They cannot be very well rested. Um, we'll probably put a little bit of yellow in it for the, you know, kind of make it a little goldish. So I'll put this out. I've got my tan or fawn color. So I've got that on my palette. So we're going to have fun, guys. This is fun. Yes, we love watching Dina. Is she on here? Designs by Dina comes on at 9. And that is my, I call it my guilty pleasure. Like if I can get to it, if I'm done all my work and, and the family's all good and you know, whatever. I love to sit and watch Dina. Kenny and Dina, well, they're a team because he reads the comments and he does all her shipping and um, probably tons more. I don't know about cutting and all of that, but they make a great team. And so they're really fun to watch. Uh, so many, so many that I love to watch if I can. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just adding a little bit of this black and I started slow because I didn't want to overdo it, but I want a, a dark color. So I, I shouldn't do what I tell y'all not to do, but I mixed it with my brush and typically you want to mix it with like a, a stick or a palette knife or something. But now my brush is totally full of paint, like all the way up to the Feral, but you know, whatever, it's okay. So for now, we're gonna do it this way and it's okay. And I'm just gonna come in and go in the direction that her hair grows, obviously, so like that. And we're gonna get kind of our base color down. We will go on top of this and add to it, but I wanna get a base coat of this dark brown down. Um, probably should have made more because I forget that that's quite a bit of hair and I just did a little. Yes, oh, thanks, Cynthia. Yeah, I know, there's so many good ones and 
you know, we all appreciate you guys so much that enjoy what we do. So I'm gonna just keep going with the direction her hair is gonna grow, so like that, you know. And we're just swiping on, it's so easy, just swiping on this base coat and kind of coming up to this little bow thing, you know, scrunchie that has like a little bowy tassel thing on it and bow on it. Okay, base coat. And then this, just going this direction. So you're just following as if you were coloring in a coloring book, you know, you're just following the design. And that's why tracers are helpful. Make the bow match her glasses. That's a good call. Did we ever decide, did we say leopard print for glasses? Now, here's a trick question. So I think that most of y'all said leopard print. If you did, did you um, mean like traditional brown, black, gold kind of color? Or did you mean like teal leopard print or another color leopard print? So that's your next question is, oh, black and white polka dots would be fun. Um, so just kind of coming back in. You could, you guys that are huge McKenzie Childs fans, like Debbie Rig with Studio MDAZ, you could totally do check glasses. That would be super cute. Now, while this is still kind of wet, a little more over here. While this is still a little bit wet, I'm gonna come in here with my black and get a little bit on the tip of this brush. So now we have, you know, black on the tip. I don't know if y'all can see, but we're gonna swipe that in here and there. And just kind of coming with the shape that her hair grows. And then we'll let all this dry, okay? And we'll keep going on top of it, but that's one thing. Brown, black, and gold. Ooh, the gold, y'all will be pretty if we do gold. Um, leopard print, teal and black. Color that's not taking a nap or brown. So I see what you mean, Shelly Ann. So some pop of color, is that what you're saying? Oh, Liz, am I breaking up for you guys? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wonder if it's because I've got my earbud in. Hold on, we're gonna try something. Let me know if that is better. Y'all let me know. Oh, you can hear me fine, Sandra. Maybe it was just. Good here. Okay, good. Oh, that scared me. I was like, am I breaking up? Okay, good. Okay, back to the glasses, you guys. Good, Judy. Thank y'all. I'm glad when y'all tell me that. No, it's okay. Um, you guys tell me on the glasses. And I may need to, you know, scroll back up to find it, but I do want to know what y'all think on the glasses. Well, darn, I still didn't make enough. I'm, gonna have to, I'm just taking my brown and adding a little bit of black to it. Good, Doris. Good. I'm glad. Nope. Now you're mute. What? Are you serious? You're joking. Because everybody else is hearing me fine. I am not muted, right? Are you giving me a hard time, John? 
because I'm going to call Linda if you are. Thank you, Anna. Okay, thanks, Cynthia. I think he's giving me a hard time, y'all. That's okay. I can take it most days. Hi, Debbie. You didn't miss. We're still going strong. It was mute for a moment. Okay, so he wasn't teasing. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, my first mic that I ordered from this company, uh, it didn't work. It, it was junk. So they sent me this as a replacement. So I don't have high hopes. I mean, I probably need to get a better quality one soon. But you know me, I'm going to use it as long as I possibly can. This looks like a little college girl to me. You can always turn your paintings, guys, and because to get into this little corner here, I needed a little bit better angle. Just turn it. And I am using a little bit large brush for that little spot, but if I'm careful, it should work out okay. But if you're new to painting, grab a smaller brush when you get into those little corners and, and make, it, make your job easier. Okay, so same thing with her pony bun is we're going to take that black and just put in some swipes with the black. No big deal. You cannot mess it up. I mean, it's just, I'm going to do quite a bit around the edge of it, you know, kind of like a little, um, what do you call it? Outline sort of thing. So the outside edges will have more. And we're going to still add our cinnamon stick. So some of this will be covered up. Okay. I'm going to wipe off some of this extra on my brush. Yes, Anna. Listen, you guys can totally make this um, however you want it to look. If, if maybe you have a grand me, um, we can, we can help you. Okay. Mom hair doesn't care. Oh, and speaking of that, yes. So we're going to take some wispies because you know, like me, I always have those wispies hanging out. It's kind of a security blanket. Like I don't, I need some wispies. So we're going to do some black and some brown kind of coming up into, can y'all see? Just kind of coming down from her head. a few pieces and I'm using a detail brush so it's got a long you know long thin bristles you'll see how's that look I better look at it myself sometimes upside down I need to make sure the length is about the same on those so there we go i think that's okay <laughs> oh anna <laughs> thank you you know as you do it as you're just doing it things come to you like oh she needs the little wispies and um for her for her actual glasses i'm out of my pretty it's like a silvery kind of chrome look so i'm gonna do black um, and we can totally, I mean, you can totally make it mirrored if you have some of that kind of paint. Um, man, I probably do somewhere, but hold on. Do I? Okay, here's what, here's what we will use. This is almost identical to what I was going to use. The one I was going to use looks kind of mirrory, but this is a little darker and it will still be cute. So that's what we'll use. Gold and teal. Oh, thank you. Okay, remind me, guys. So, did y'all vote or did we decide? Is it gold and teal? Y'all keep telling me here and I'm going to look. Gold and teal. 
You love the background, Dana? Thank you. I'm sorry, Helen, it's freezing. It's time of the day, probably. There's probably a lot of us on here right now. Um, Tammy, did I say hi to you? If I didn't, hi, Tammy Littell. I'm glad you're here. So here's that uh, charcoal -y kind of gray color. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I so did not mean to put that there. No, Deb. And this is why I like to have baby wipes and still have not made it to the store to get any. I've actually been to the store and just forgot them. So I'm taking just a little bit of water and getting that off real quick. Now your acrylic paint is permanent, so if it gets on your clothes and you don't get it off quick, it's on there. But I meant to paint this on the inside of her glasses and just there I went, just not paying attention. Hi, Aris Ellis. How are you? Do I say your name right? I probably am mispronouncing it, or not. If you'll type it out how it sounds, uh, if I'm mispronouncing it, I promise I'm sorry and I want to say it right. I know I've called you that so long, but the other day I was looking at it when you were you had made a comment, and I was like, I bet I'm saying that wrong. This is going to be cute. I do like this color. This isn't a bad color at all. I was thinking it needed to be a little lighter, but this is actually going to be cute. So our happy hour is going to turn into a happy hour and a half. I'm going to hurry. We can, we can, um, maybe 15 minutes. But we're getting down to the fun part where we can add details and do our cute glasses and I'm gonna put something cute on that cup so okay there's her glass the, the inside of her glasses anyway and let's add a little more to her hair now that it's getting dry Deb, do you, you, yes, I love watercolor. I am not an expert at watercolor, but I do it and I love it. And we will do some in the VIP group. It's on the calendar. Um, I actually bumped something because it was already, we were supposed to already do it, but, but yes, I love watercolor. Hi, Debbie Darby, how are you? Come in here at your business so people can go check out your page too. Oh, Sandra, you're so sweet, thank you. You're okay, good Shelly. You're not gonna leave me, huh? Thank you. Libby, welcome. I just am scrolling back because I felt like I missed something. Oh, Dana, that's a cute idea. Libby, I'm glad you're here for your first time. My name is Deb. Um, I am in South Fort Worth. Welcome. So I'm going back into my brown. I've got that on my brush, and then I'm gonna dip a little bit into that. I'm probably going to take a little off because it's pretty bright. We're going to see what we think of it. Um, I'm going to, you know, they say face framing highlights. So we're going to put it here first. Kind of frame her face. But I did, I do have a little bit of the brown on that brush. So it's not just that shocking. Because it's a little pumpkin color, but I think it can be really pretty. I just don't want to do too, too much. I mean... If we get in here and we love it, we will go back and put more. But you see, it's pretty, pretty pumpkin-y. So I can always calm it down with some brown. And you can tell I'm getting bolder with it. But just kind of keep spreading it out if it's too dark. You just, or too bright, I mean, you know, too orangey. Just kind of keep because you've got the brown in your brush already. So by just continuing to kind of swipe, some of that brown is gonna come off and over it. 
I think it's kind of pretty. You like the highlights? Good. Okay. Looks good. Love it. Thank you. Okay. This is cinnamon stick and first time I'm using it. So I really, really like it. This is what I use for pumpkins and things a lot. And this is burnt orange. And this time I picked up one of those cinnamon sticks. See the difference? It's just a really pretty color and you can always mix to get colors, but the problem with that is even I can't recreate it a second time. So then I'll go to paint it again or try to help somebody with it. And it's like, oh, well, a little more of this or a little more, you know? So when, when these go on sale, I just grab them because they're already done and you get the whole bottle. So that's what I do. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm glad y'all like it. Hi, Patsy Perry, how are you? Okay, a little bit more maybe. What do y'all think? Put a little bit up in here. Always, I mean, this is a whimsical, fun painting. Nothing serious about it. So you don't, it doesn't matter. But just FYI, you always want to have, wherever the light would hit this girl, you would want to have some highlights. So, of course, you know, it's just going to hit certain spots, and that's where you want to be sure you've got a few, like the top, the edges, the sides, things like that. But I don't worry too much about it on whimsical paintings, but I still like to tell y'all, because some of y'all will take this and make something really beautiful with it. I am getting more brave with it. I really, really think it's a gorgeous color. I kind of like it in here. Just don't want to do too, too much. But we're about to move on, but hold on. I think it, I think it needs a little bit. And then I'm going to take this thin liner again and we're going to do brown and then that pumpkin-y color, cinnamon stick. We're going to do a little bit of that. So let me show you my brush. So it's got the brown and then it's got that little bit. Can y'all see? I don't know. It looks blurry for my end, but maybe you can see. And yes, who said that? Adds interesting layers. Exactly, John. exactly right you don't paintings would be boring if you just had the one color and so many um, fine art paintings have colors you wouldn't even you wouldn't even know were in there but they're underpainted with them and makes it super interesting what I do is for relaxation and fun and to build community through doing art so I don't teach any of that um, you can go get the fine art lessons and then come back and paint fun art with me. <laughs> but um, when I try to, to do anything like that, I get end up getting frustrated with it. So I've, I've stuck to the fun art and it just is light and happy. And like, you know, if you've had a bad day, when it's, you know, the end of your day, paint something and it will make you happier. Okay, let's get to the glasses. I think y'all said teal. I'm, I'm coming back and looking. Thank you, Debbie. Um, I did use fawn. I sure did, Dana. Yes, ma'am. Highlights are like, oh, thank you, Pamela. Um, looking for glasses, looking for glasses. Hi, Donna Kaywood. I'm glad you're here and that's okay to be late. <laughs> Thanks, John. I'm not on the clock. Yes. Um, I guess we'll do teal. What are y'all thinking? Oh, yeah. I bet I've never done oil. Teal and gold, Shelly says. Okay, teal it is. I do like checks. Um, we could do checks, but, but it, I don't think it would look as cute on this one. Um, and checks would be easy on something that's small, not easy, but you know what I'm saying. It wouldn't be a, a difficult thing to do. So I think checks would be cute, but I think it needs the either teal or yeah, teal would be good. Teal and gold. 
Okay, let's get out our teal. This is bluegrass green. I have a few teals, but I really like this one. Um, and you can tell because I'm getting low. Let me find a good brush that I want to use. Just to get um, a lot on here at one time, I'm using just this. It's not the right brush, but this is a like a blender brush. And it's one that I use for checks. It's one that Debbie recommended. So we're going to go ahead and do this teal to see how I can get a lot of ground covered with this brush. But it's thin enough that we won't go over our lines. And let me show you guys something because I know we have some people that don't paint regularly on here. When you're loading up your brush, if you will, if you will do this and then turn it over and do it again and just kind of keep turning it and pressing your paint in there, um, your brush will be loaded with paint better and you can go farther with it. That is technically the proper way to load a brush. We don't always take the time to do it correctly, do we? But that is the best way to load your brush is to just press it into that paint forward and backwards. And I can tell I just went over my line a little bit. I blame it on being upside down. But we can definitely um, go back over that easily. What do y'all think of this teal now that you're seeing it on? Do you like it? Oh, good, Lynn. You like it? Thank you, Christy. Debbie, I'll do checks. I will do checks because I, I love doing them. I... I um, have been practicing. I'm not great at it, but I can do them. I have a ceramic pumpkin that I'm, I'm probably going to do them on, and I think it'll be super cute. And Debbie did hers on a paper mache pumpkin yesterday. So if you happen to miss that, you need to watch it. It's a really great lesson. Um, you learn so much from her because she is the pro at doing checks. Okay, so we got that, got the glasses done. Y'all see? And yes, my brush is loaded well because I can still see when I press it, the, the, that color, that teal color. I'm going to just take a second and fix the glasses where I went over a little bit. Just one second. This acrylic paint will dry pretty fast when you don't overuse it and then we can just kind of come around here quickly to give it a second coat before we do our leopard print. Oh, 
yes, yes, we will do a pumpkin. I almost did a pumpkin today, but I'm doing a pumpkin in my group. So I was like, eh, I don't know. Um, guys, if you are interested in that group, get in there. And that way you get to join our paint party that we do. Um, I don't remember the date off the top of my head, but it's the third week of this month. So is that next week? I'm losing track of dates, but okay. Hair bow, hair scrunchie. What color do you guys like? Um, yes to the checks. We could do a check one, but I just don't think it's the vibe. What do y'all think? I just don't see it being the vibe. Okay, yeah. Her, I, don't, I haven't seen her finished one. Hers, um, she said she was going to have to, you know, continue doing it. And I haven't seen her post a picture yet. Polka dots on what color? Did we want to do the the teal color? Is that what y'all said? Um, the group, the private group is 18 a month. And it includes a, I teach once a week inside there. And then both teal and gold leopard. And we have at least one guest artist every month or, or crafter. It could be, we have a lot of crafters. Um, we, we have a post in the group where if you, let's say that you're in my group and you paint this, um, then you post a picture of it. And at the end of the month, I take everybody who did something that I taught or that one of the guests taught and their name goes in a bowl and we draw for a $20 Amazon gift card. And that's just to say thank you for, you know, participating. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with ability. I mean, if you, if, you, if you sketched it, I would count it. You know, I mean, I'm not picky. I just want people to try and to, you know, step out of their comfort zone and do things they might not normally do. And then we, um, we have things like exchanges. We just did a um, mixed media exchange. That's our second one we've done of mixed media. We've done exchanged ornaments and I'm not even, I can't, my memory's so bad, y'all, what all we've exchanged. But this um, is something that, you know, we, it's just such a great group and, and, usually the way the exchanges have worked is like we'll have fun with a lesson and go we should exchange these and then okay let's do it you know white dots would be cute white dots would be cute on the bow um let me show you how i do my leopard print and let me grab a gold let's see here Ooh, that would be pretty too that's a copper uh, metallic copper Here's the gold. Gold and black will be cute. Um, oh, glass art. We do, we try to do a lot because I want to give you guys variety and all of us kind of step outside of our usual. So yeah, we do um, all kinds of different art. Yellow dots. Oh guys, y'all are killing me. Yellow dots. Okay, so... Tell me first about her bow, because I know what I'm going to do on the glasses. We're going to do the leopard print glasses, so tell me about the bow. Yellow dots, and I think somebody else said white. Dina, you're here. Oh, how are you? I thought I thought maybe you popped in and left. I don't think I ever saw, your, saw you, but glad you're here. Glad you're here. Or maybe somebody just mentioned you. I don't know. Yellow polka dots. Somebody said, do them the same. Bow metallic. Oh, y'all, I don't know. Okay, so for our um, leopard print, since we want to do gold, I'm going to put down a little bit of white first. So let me grab a small, this is just another detail brush I'm grabbing. This is a good one. Yellow dots on bow. Um, so I'm going to put out a little white this will go quick because they're small so don't don't panic but we're going to put out a little white and we're going to just put some marks okay all the way around remember what i say 
trust the process because I know right now you're going, oh, what is she doing? We're just putting down some squigglies, some kind of random dots. I'll show you all this up close too. You don't want them the same, so just turn your brush a little different ways or you kind of have to be conscious not to do them the same or else mine will start to all look the same. I'm just barely touching down and kind of squiggling is the best way to tell you if you've never done leopard print. So there's that. This Debbie is a 10 inch, so it's 10 by 10. Okay, so now when those dry, I can go right over it with my gold. And um, so let's see. Yes, Dina, we will see you. Um, let's see what y'all said about the bow. Did y'all want the same or different gold or yellow dots? Bow metallic gold dots. Ooh, gold dots might be cute. Linda, um, I go live in there every Tuesday at two, but every now and then I will change it up and like go live on a Tuesday night at seven. So, um, you know, I try to have a schedule, but yet be flexible because if someone messages me and says, you know, oh man, I just never get to catch your Tuesday lives. Then I'm going to go, oh, let's do a seven o'clock one next time. You know, um, but there's always a replay. So if you miss something, it's okay. Cause there's always a replay. And then our paint party is always, I say always, always, unless there's like Thanksgiving week or something, but typically the third week of the month on a Thursday at seven central. Still no internet, darn it. Okay, you guys go to McDonald's and just sit in the parking lot and do your craft because they've got internet. I'm teasing. I'm totally teasing. We're going to miss you because I missed you last night. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to do gold dots on the bow. Let's just see what we think. So if we do gold dots, just using that same small brush to make little round circles, but you can totally, totally use like the back of something or a little dowel stick if you have one. We'll just kind of put a little piece of one to here and there. Okay. I hope this is going to be cute, guys. Yes, Judy. Um, we have everything's broken up into guides. Dina, you can help me tell them. Um, everybody, everything's broken up into guides or somebody, whoever's in there that wants to tell them. And so like, for example, August has a guide. So if you're looking for something we have painted this month or done this month, you just go to August and you'll find it. You can also go to the library that says videos and just kind of scroll until you find what you want. Um, but everything's labeled, you know, by week and it's all in chronological order but i'll be honest and if you have ever have trouble finding something if you send me a message i'll send it right back where it is with a link because i i mean i know where it all is anyway so it's real easy for me if you get stuck or can't find something eventually we will have everything on my website um, in a secured where you have to have a password to see it so that not just the public can see it but just only the group members but for now, we're just using the Facebook group.
Can y'all see this gold? I don't know. I know. I feel like y'all are far away. Is it? You'll see okay. And while I'm thinking about it, it's been heavy on my mind today. If you're a believer and you're a person that prays, will you pray for our friend Justin Krause and his father? His dad is um, in the hospital and had to be transferred to a bigger hospital. And I would just appreciate, I know he would just definitely really appreciate any prayers for his father. Um, and, you know, we can help him by going to his page and watching a video. You don't even have to watch. Just turn it on and go vacuum your floor. Um, but keeping his page going and active while he is not able to uh, be on is super helpful to creatives. And I know he's got some people that he's lined up to help him, but it's still not the same. And I know that that would be one weight lifted off of him. So thank you guys. So if anybody has time to just go watch a video and I don't mean even you don't have to watch the whole thing just turn it on and help his page out that would be fantastic so do y'all like so far now we're not done we're not done I know I know he's just the sweetest guy for we hate to see him you know worry and stress and and that's an easy thing we can do that will make a big difference for him. And I don't know when those people are going to go live. You heard Kim will cover Justin tonight. Thank you, Pamela. Do you know what time? Because I just started saying I don't know what time. But if you miss it, just do the replay. Okay, so we've got our gold down. I think I'm going to come over here and do a quick pumpkin real fast while that is, while that is drying. This has turned out to be a lot more lengthy than I pictured but that's okay I've had a great time and I hope some of y'all have I'm going to take this kind of uh, cinnamon stick color and start doing some pumpkins so let's see how we can do upside down I don't know we're going to try you guys bear with me And we'll come back on top and, and decorate them. This is just a pretty small round brush. And I'm just making I'll show you a little slower because I don't know if y'all are seeing this. Yes, the Crafty Brother. Thank you for putting that. Yes. So I'm going to put one swipe of this down the center. Okay. And really, I don't know, kind of an oval in, the, in a way. And then I'm going to come to the side of it. And I'm going to make a little separation so maybe you can see better. I know it's small because it's on this small little cup. But I'm going to come beside it and make sort of like a little comma. And then I'm going to come beside on the other side and make a little comma. Okay? So that's your pumpkin. And then we can just kind of clean it up. So just kind of bring it all together. I don't even mind the separation between it because I'm going to come back with a little brown in a second. And I'm going to do one more. So does that make sense? So one down the middle and then a kind of a comma and a comma and just kind of clean it up, bring it around and you're good. So 
So now I'm going to come into my brown. Need to paint, oh, your blue bonnets, Debbie. Um, I'll show you. I'll link it. I will link it for you. Okay, so I'm coming into my brown, and I'm going to kind of, not so much, do a little stem. So I'll just kind of put a stem on each of these. Ooh, my light just went off. Did y'all see that? Just a stem on each one, and then kind of give it a little bit of an outline with that brown. Now don't, don't worry. You know, doing this upside down is not gonna be perfect. To be perfect. And then I just kind of will take a brush like this, or take this brush and kind of bring the back to where it's not a big dip down in the back. These are just cute little whimsical pumpkins on our little cup. So they don't need a lot. They don't need to be perfect. I think I'm going to add a little bit of gold just to carry out that gold that we have everywhere else. And I'll just kind of put that across the top of them. I'll hold this up to let you see because I know these are small. They're small for me, so I know being far back, they'll be even smaller. Okay, can y'all see? Let's see if we get that in the eye of the camera. Oh, thanks. Good, you like them? So simple, simple, simple. If you want to do more and you have time, you know, you can add a little twist. You could add some greenery, but sometimes, you know, you just add a little twist with the tip of your brush. You know, one of those curly cues, just whatever you want to do on that. Um, and of course, I will clean up my lines where I was going to show you on the, on the lid. If you want to make it look a little bit more like wood, take a very thin brush and just brush on just the tiniest little lines. I try to have the slightest touch and just kind of quickly go across. Just a real light touch, kind of going across in a line. Kind of gives you a little bit more of a wood look. And that's all we need to do on that. Now let's do her finishing touches of her glasses. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you, Doris and Pamela and Sandra. You guys are so sweet, Judy. Appreciate y'all. Okay, so just any small brush. This this will be fine. Um, this is a liner brush, just so I can get some black on the tip. And you'll see, not very much. We're going to come around and just line is the best way I know these little spots. But you want it to be kind of you're imperfect and kind of squiggly and I will oh, I wish I could get this even closer for you guys um, I will let's see can we <laughs> I will come around here and do like the top and a side and then on this one I'll do this side and maybe this side so just each one will be a little bit different than the one next to it does that make sense and that is how I do my leopard print. And then when it's all done, it looks really cute. Hope y'all can see. I know it's hard when, when you're far away. One day I'm gonna have a nice fancy camera and it won't be any issue, but see that? Very easy. I'm so glad y'all like it. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. This sure turned out longer than I thought, but she's cute. I think she is. 
she's getting her personality right now you're starting to see oh she's the leopard print wearing bubblegum chewing has to have a Starbucks sassy yeah that's my daughter <laughs> just kidding but not <laughs> Thank you, Cynthia and Tarita and Judy. Appreciate y'all. So take these tips and tools, and now you know how to do the leopard print, some of you that didn't know, and do it to anything. So paint a pumpkin and put the leopard print all over it. Um, a couple of years ago, and this video will be on my YouTube, I did a ceramic truck and I painted it black. And then I just got this wild hair to do the leopard print on it. So I went back and painted gold leopard print all over it. And it's super cute. Um, so you can add it to anything. Okay, and then we're gonna, we've got this brush out, we've got it in the black, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it to give us some line across her hair bow. And it can be a whimsical line, it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be complete, you know, sometimes you just kind of do a little wispy. And then we'll kind of make it crinkle in a couple of places like that. Just kind of giving it a quick little line. You see I'm going quick and, and imperfect, but nobody's going to care because it's a whimsical painting and that's how it should be. It shouldn't be too perfect. It would be weird. I do usually kind of clean up like right there. Be sure she has a little bit of black around this hair bun. Thank you, Betty. Oh, I appreciate it. Like, d yes, like Dina's dolly hair, it does, yeah. I appreciate you guys, and I appreciate y'all sticking with me. This was a long one, and so I know not everybody could watch the whole thing, but I hope that you got something out of it, and and I have, I, I don't know, I have a hard time inviting people to the group because it's awkward, you know, to say, oh, come get in my group because there's lots of great groups out there. But I would love for you to, if you have been thinking about it or have been wanting one, come get in there. And there is no obligation. If you don't like it, you just cancel it. No big deal. Okay. That's pretty cute. I like it. Now, I probably would still go and see here. I keep going and kind of give these pumpkins a little because it just helps them to show up against that background. And um, gives them some definition. But anyway, that's that. So there is a link to my website somewhere i think it might be pinned do y'all see it yeah it is pinned down there i can see it yay oh good i'm glad y'all enjoyed it um and i will take a picture of this and post it i'll also be sure and put my tracer on my website so just look on my website a little bit later and you will find it Oh, I like her. I think she's cute. So I might still play with it um, and maybe add a little more. Yeah, I need to, to add a little more burgundy down here. 
Yes, I just now noticed that, but boy, that definitely needed some down there. It needed that second coat. So we'll do that and anything else I think it needs because you know, like I've told y'all, when I do this, obviously I don't have a very good vantage point on it. I'm kind of, a lot of this is, you know, I need to go back and take a good look at it from the right side and see what I think. But hopefully you learned a few techniques you didn't know. All right, guys, thank y'all for being here. And some of y'all that stuck to the very, very end. Let's see. Good. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. Yes, Tease is so cute for a girl's room. Yes. Yeah, there's so many things you could do with this for sure. All right, guys, y'all have a good night. And thank you for this extended happy hour. <laughs> have a great night. Aw, thank you guys for sprinkling. It's okay if you forget. <laughs> Okay. Bye, guys. Thanks again. Appreciate you.